Well, as we get ready for the holiday season, culinary mixologist Jeremy Parsons joins us with some festive Christmas cocktails and uh, other goodies that we can make in the comfort of our own home. Culinary mixologist, or do I call you the, uh, is it uh, the uh, gastro guru? Bob, you can call me anything you like. <laughs> but you got a, a YouTube show that just launched. <laughs> it is, it's the gastro guru. So I've got my Amazon Prime show, but during COVID, we can't travel, so I'm doing it on YouTube right now. Okay, we'll check that out. Thank you. So I've got an amazing cocktail and two super easy canapes to make for the holiday season. So everybody loves mac and cheese, but I'm doing it very adult. So I'm doing cubes. So I made my favorite. You can use any kind of recipe you like. And I put it into a mold. And then I'm going to chop it up and bread it and deep fry it. So it's a nice little cube, it's bite sized You drop it into a cool egg mixture, a little bit of breadcrumbs, toss it into your deep fryer or just like a nice heavy skillet that can uh, handle some high heat and drop it into your deep fryer. And boom, it goes in and in about a minute, you've got this great crispy, beautiful mac and cheese cube, wow. which is super easy to eat. Great idea. It's pretty fun, and I'm pairing that up with a great scotch. So I've got Old Pulteney, and I'm going to make a blueberry rosemary smoked old-fashioned. Oh. So when you do this, you want to add in your favorite scotch, and then take a, uh, a little platform that isn't going to ignite, which is always a good thing. <laughs> Put on oh, your we favorite. like when things blow up, Jeremy. Sorry? We like it when things blow up, but we're in your kitchen. I guess that's not going to happen. I'm trying. It's a little too early for blowing things up, so I'm going to try not to this morning. But you can take any kind of herb, drop it into your glass, and then cover it up. So what this is going to do is not heat up your glass, but it's actually going to smoke the cocktail, and you're going to get all those great flavors of your favorite herbs. So whether it's rosemary or basil or oregano, you can do all of that. That's a great little and then, I've got a simple syrup of blueberry that I made. I'm going to pour that in, a little bit of bitters. And then we always look for umami, that great term of balance. So with the sweetness and the smokiness, I'm going to add in a little bit of acidity, so a little bit of lemon juice, stir it around, add in a blueberry skewer, and we've got a perfect cocktail. I wish you were here to enjoy this with me. I know, darn pandemic, but it looks pretty right. yummy. Sorry about that. <laughs> And look at that, we've got our beautiful cube. And it's perfect golden brown. And it's great bite size, so which is awesome. Whenever you're having people over, and I know we can't have that many people over, but it's nice to be able to have them separated so we're not sharing plates. You can just pick it up and bite and everything is cool. Yeah, those I've would got be a huge hit. Over. Sorry? Those would be a huge hit. They are, and they're super tasty. And the great thing is you can use any kind of blend of cheese. You can add herbs to the crust. It's just super fun, and it's great to also do with your kids. Now, we're, we're, gonna, be, we're gonna post this at chch.com, but is there somewhere we can go to for the recipe? Absolutely, so if you go on to YouTube and you just type in the words, the gastro guru, you're gonna see all of my uh, shows on there, and the full recipe comes up, and all the directions as well. Okay. So the second one, everybody's seen me wrap figs, but you know what, here's the trick. So in a pan, you wanna have a little bit of balsamic and your favorite spirit. So drop that into a pan on high and then wrap figs or pears or apples with prosciutto and just drop them in. And literally within 45 seconds, it caramelizes and it gets this great little canopy. Again, it's just a simple one biter. It's beautiful. You've got the fruit, the sweetness, the saltiness of the prosciutto, and then you've got that great balsamic and whatever spirit you're gonna be serving. So you get that perfect pairing all the time, which is what everybody is looking for. Wow, they look so yummy and the cocktail sounds amazing. No wonder they call them the gastro guru. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy, good to see you. Have a good weekend. Thanks so much, Bob.